Hello and welcome back with another match of the Spirit Mongo 187. So I'm playing Amber Rain today because we are on 260 rating. And I said if I'm dropping down to 262, I'm going to play Amber Rain again. So with our last match with the Moonstalk, we have lost, and I've played some matches on my phone uh, with the Amber Rain and with Land Shadow Stalker, and I lost some more, and I went down to 258. And I brought it up to 260 now. So, yeah, I'm going for some victories now. So, I want uh, at least to get back at the 265 my rating points. So, our opening hand is pretty nice. We've got some Jewelers Dreams, uh, Blood Frenzy, we've got a turn 2 drop, and our opponent is a Zeladar. He's got a foil Zeladar card. Very nice. Let's give him the hi, have fun. Because that's what it's all about. You gotta have fun when you're playing the Shadow Era. And he's dropping an Ironhide Garage. Okay, let's just get rid of the Spectral Blade. Because I don't think we're going to need that card. And we'll play out the Pune. Let's just see what he's up to next turn. He's probably going to play the Dead Mage. Damaging my Puin. Uh, did you miss a drop? No. Well, there's another Ironite Garage. And he hits my Amber Rain for two. I wish I had an Alden, but I don't have an Alden. So we're we'll just uh, going to sacrifice the retreat. And what are we going to play? Are we going to play a uh, Blood Frenzy or Lyarian? Hmm. That's a difficult one. Um, I just think we're going for Blood Frenzy. Maybe he's going to attack me once more. Damage me very fast. So play against a, a big, a bit bigger Saladar deck. As you can see uh, with the rating with 260. I see a real big difference in the players. Uh, there's a big difference in the decks, they, uh, how they play the decks. Most of the times they're a bit bigger deck. That's not always that bad. Because yesterday I lost from a guy, uh, uh, he had 180 rating points. And after that we played some more matches. And uh, I've beaten him uh, every, t every single time. But. Uh, yeah, he took me down uh, in the most important match, the match for the rating points. So, let's just pump up a Julius Dream here and take out the Iron Hide Crush and disable the other one because I don't want to take too much damage. And um, it's pretty nice to save the Crippling Bow Blow for something that's uh, a bit stronger, but yeah. I saw the damage, and another two damage as a risk. So that's why I disabled him, why I crippled him. And there it is, the anti-matter, and another iron eye crush. Hmm, choices, choices. And we're going to play this one, and this one I think. Yep. So we'll play the Puin. And now we're in, almost in completely control. And a Jasmine. And that turn. And he could use his ability now. And in combination with a Dead Mage, it is so nice. Because there are a lot of allies with 4 uh, life, 4 health, 4 defense, whatever you want to call it. And with that ability, uh, and in combination with a Dead Mage, playing a Dead Mage, it's just so nice. But nope, there's a mind control taking me down to 13 so I'm on pretty low health I do not want to take more damage he got no cards in his hand uh, wow and that's too much lots of jewelry dreams here so I can only deal him 3 damage with my hero taking him down to 23 so he's he got 10 more health than me let's just hope he draw he doesn't draw any good from his uh, anti matter
and he damaged me pretty quick there it is, a dead mage that's not nice mm. let's just see how many he has um, yeah we're just going to play the jeweler's dream use the ability and let's just keep hitting him because we want him dead very quickly now and we'll just disable his death mage and attack him for another two taking him down to 18 so that antimatter he's going to draw some cards from it probably but it cost him a lot of resources to use this card so in the late game it's pretty nice but yeah now in the mid game he's really relying on that card I think but it's not as good as it it looks like in my opinion it's not a constant draw well that's nice that's that's really nice um, how are we going to play this um, well well we want to take care of this one mm. yeah, they both do two damage so um. or do I want to attack him so next turn he can deal two damage to an ally mm. I think I'm just going full throttle for his throat Yep, uh, I'm not calculating, I'm just doing it. I guess I'm doing more damage than he is going to do. So, just play the Jasmine. So, next turn with our uh, King Sprite, they go grow pretty big. So, we're just trying to overrun him here. The allies let it be. Uh, we cannot take it all. Uh, we cannot take it all out. We could do it, but. We have to take him out very fast. So he got an Ironite Garage, maybe he sacrificed it for a resource. He got three resources left, so no Shadow Font or anything like that. Maybe a Grave Digger or. I think this is a game that I've won. Taking me down to seven. He's close. Take me down to five. And now an infernal gargoyle. Yep, that's a match. I'll just sacrifice this one. Play the king's pride. And take them in the face for a lot. Well, it was a hard match. <laughs> it was uh, I think a bit unexperienced player because he plays more than 40 cards. But it's not always worse but you, you you do want to draw the cards that you need and if you have a 40 card deck a 39 card deck but including the hero 40 cards and uh, then you got a better chance of drawing the cards that you need so we're still winning with the amber rain deck and we'll just keep playing it until we gain our own old rating back we're now on the 261 so i hope you liked this match and uh, don't forget to comment like subscribe and we'll see you next match cheers